What's up, people? It's the Unirrelevant Podcast. You are welcomed by your hosts, Damien. And Jesse. Join us as we experience time through our honest and unbridled consciousness. We discuss it all. Here we'll be expressing our insights, our emotions, and you'll get to follow us as we learn, try, and work even harder to find out what it truly means to be unirrelevant. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. As you can see, I'm here alone today. Jesse uh, took off with his girl this morning when he knew we had the podcast to shoot. And they are now uh, an hour and a half late. <clears throat> I just threw a big fucking party last night for Halloween as tradition and uh you know my house is wrecked uh i woke up at like 10 30 uh threw all my shit together to get here because you know that's what we do we make this happen apparently i'm the only one in that fucking pack yeah i'm a little irritated I do a lot to make sure this all fucking happens and trying to make everybody happy, you know. My old lady's pissed. She's at the house cleaning up all by herself. I should be there. But I had this to do, so now I'm an hour and a half late on this. Just imagine. Just imagine the shit I'm dealing with. Nope, nobody cares. Go get your fucking coffee. Make a cute, make a few stops along the way. It doesn't matter. Fuck me. Fuck the podcast. <sighs> Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm going to try to get myself into a better mood. All right. I, I, I promise. I'll get in better mood. I'll get in a better mood. There's a fucking Eminem rapper in my goddamn raw chat. Come on. Come on. My good man, fucking Chuck Moody. Shout out, Chuck. This man taught me how to roll a fucking cone. El Natural style. No fucking tools needed. My good old Dexterous Fingus. Dexterous. Dexteringus. Jesus. Dexterity. Dexterous fingertips. Going a little fucking Latin on you there. What do you know about that? Dexterous fingertips. I like it. It doesn't matter if you don't or not. Actually, it does. But only to an extent. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do it regardless. I like making a fool of myself. You know, this is, this is actually kind of cool. Just like... <clears throat> let it out you know it's kind of what i wanted to do from the get-go just sit in here and just like conversate it seems like we get in here and it's like i don't know i think the ego just naturally gets in the way and it tries to like protect you from itself or protect you from yourself you know but fuck that like ego is cancerous man you gotta get rid of that cancer Got to go totally alkaline. I don't know if it's true, but I actually read uh, cancer attacks, uh, some sort of cell, in that uh, by making your body like really alkaline filled, uh, like kills off the cancer. I don't know. I should probably look into that a little more before I talk about it publicly. Because I have no idea what I'm talking about. It's just something I read in passing. It's probably a meme, you know. Like, like electrify your life or something like that. It's a good page on Instagram. You know, like, uh, all about your body and like, taking care of yourself. Mainly, like, vegan posts, really. But... A lot of cool stuff all over the fucking world. <clears throat> I think that's really what it is. Like, 
you, the individual, you're alive right now in the time in this time because like well not because but like with all the information in the world you know we're all we're all and it's so like instant you know it's it's right at your fingertip we're all just observers of somebody else's knowledge you know like that's how you learn like without a teacher we'd be back to the stone age you know like i feel like if say everybody over the age of 10 were to die right now <clears throat> and then just 10 year olds existed um you know a lot of this a lot of this stuff would just dissipate over you know like the next 20 years or some shit they would have to i mean what what kind of like preconceptions do 10 year olds have except yeah, even that's too much to think about because everyone, every parent is so different. Hmm. But I think it's all so different for the sole purpose of like, that's what gives us that range to learn from. You know, like everything exists for a, for a specific purpose. But like when you dumb it all down, it's just so that like we can observe it have that bit of knowledge and hopefully one day use it you know there's a lot of stuff you hear that like just goes in one ear and out the other it's totally gibberish but then one day you hear it again and it's like oh my god that makes sense why didn't i hear it that way before <clears throat> i think all of the all of the knowledge See, I don't even know like, where I'm going. I'm just fucking trying to roll a joint, let the thoughts out. These tips don't have the stick backs to them, so I gotta like, really roll them up, you know, so they stay that way. But again, shout out, thank you, Pajaza, for teaching me what I gotta do to make this happen. Because I really like the, the cone style joints. And prior, like I was trying to, I was trying too hard. I think it didn't. It doesn't have to be as hard as I was making. It. I think that's what it was. I was going too hard in the motherfucking paint. The common issue I have. I don't know, call it being a perfectionist or something. I just like stuff to be done well. Dude, what's up? Do you like tattoos? Love them. How many you got? One, two, four, five. Five? Fuck yeah, dude. That's a decent amount to get started, huh? Yeah. I'm up to like 15 myself. I actually want to get a new one. Yeah? Soon. You should. Mm -hmm. You should. Because let me tell you what. We got a new product. Uh, Lucky 13's tattoo before and after skincare. It's awesome. I mean, you know it's awesome. We just sat yeah. here and put it on. Yeah, we tried it on the old ones. And boy, does it bring back that fucking color. Wow. I'm actually, like, legitimately surprised. Most of my tattoos are black. Um, but even with that, it, it just it brings out that depth, all that detail. Everything that you missed from when you very first got that tattoo. They got the bombs to bring out that color. It's a skincare cream. You know, it's got aloe, uh, all kinds of, you know, shea butters, cocoa butters, all kinds of great stuff in there. All to take natural. Care of all natural. Very specific on that. And uh, with our affiliation, we can also provide you a 25% discount on all your products bought. That's their t shirts, their stickers, their actual skin care there whatever they come up with you go to protectyourink.com and you fill out your cart once you get to the bottom of that you'll see this section for your little promo code and that's where you're going to put unirrelevant underscore podcast spelled the same as all of our other platforms and there you will get your 25 percent off and trust and believe 
you're going to want to try this stuff if you love your tattoos just as much as we do. It is fucking great. Absolutely. But that's a joke for all you producers out there who see the podcast. You're like, this sucks. Looks like shit. Sounds like shit. I'm fucking learning. So we're all in this shit. Just to learn. To pass on that knowledge. All are in this shit. You do hear this when it comes out? You fuck me. Try being cool about it too, man. I'm like, fuck it. I'll wait a little bit. Hour and a half. Just tough when the old lady's fucking mad. Trying to, you know, this isn't just about me having fun. Like, I got fucking shit to do. We enjoyed the party last night, right? Oh, you got to bed way before I did. Even woke up earlier, more early than me. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Here I am on the road again. Here I am up on the stage. My man, my co host didn't show up. Get your ass in here. Who knows? Maybe we can get my buddy fucking Joe to come down. Probably not. A little camera shy. Love you, Joe. <laughs> Shit. Fucking do this to me again. All right. All right. <clears throat> well, God damn it. God fucking damn it. Maybe I can get Roman on here. Do me. I'm going to do this fucking live. See what I can make happen. I should have my phone. Any other thing. Yep. Everything sounds everything sounds fine. See, I'm just double checking, you know. We were gonna watch the fights last night. That didn't end up happening. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. We'll get into some shit. I just need to get high and fucking think about something else. It's awesome. <coughs> I've got two. Uh, well, you all you all know Roman. Roman Starkey. <coughs> His uh, beautiful wife. He's going to join us as well. That is awesome. Let me go ahead and open this up. That's great. Should be back. I'll be able to tell in a moment if I'm back. Yeah. Yeah, I'm back on. All right. All kinds of stupid shit. Just why? Threw my whole, threw my whole goddamn day off, man. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I don't know what to do. How how do the professionals handle it when they're just left there solo? Keep it nice, keep it just bullshit the bullshit the viewer. 
Ah, they got stuck in traffic. I don't know. I don't even know because he's, he hasn't even said anything. It's wild. It's com coming up on two hours. Hope everything's all right. Now that I actually think about it. You're hoping at any fucking point he just pops in here. That's really the, that's really what we need, right? Come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. Just uh, open the door. You know, that's the thing. Maybe if we, maybe if we like, think about it hard enough, all of you, all of you out there at home, you just put that energy into it, and it'll happen. You know what's really funny though is like this is gonna come out later. So if you were to put the energy into it, then would it happen now? No, right? You wouldn't think so because it's after that moment. But if all the moments are like the same moment. Ha! The garage door just opened. See? Fruition, fruition is something else. The universe is always speaking. Like, it really is. You just take the, take the moment to clear out your own thoughts. That's another thing, you know? To be honest, I don't know if I actually clear out my own thoughts. Or, that's what it is. I think I do clear out my own thoughts. And then, intuition takes over. Like intuition is that word that we use for like you know that inside gut feeling on something. But like for me, I don't think it's a I don't know. There's gotta be a different word for that thing. Because I just get like these random drops. It's like just a drop of like a thought. There it is. And but it's it's not my thought. I didn't go through that train of thought. I didn't uh it, it's just there and then I think about it. It's like it's so weird to explain. Intuition, I guess. It's just that inner thing. You know? Yeah, they're here. See? We talked about it. And for that moment that I was talking about it. See, look at this. Alright. I fucking put this into fruition, dude. You don't even know. You don't even know. Wait till you see it. Not gonna lie. Pretty upset about it. <laughs> All right, I'll, I will take full blame for everything. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You didn't even have it. Oh well. Fucking. I ended up going ahead and getting a hold of Roman and Kylie. They were gonna join now. I don't know if you're. What's going on with you? It's coming up on two hours. So, how was your morning? <laughs> you didn't bring me any coffee? It's tea. I can't drink coffee right now. How was your morning? What happened? Um, I woke up drunk. <laughs> yeah. What time did you go to sleep? I don't remember. I know I went to sleep way after you. Had to be. I wasn't even asleep until like I don't even know what time we left. AM. No, you guys left at like eleven. Uh, no, I had to even be sooner than that. Ten thirty, maybe? Ten thirty or eleven. Everyone's listening to us like <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't fucking remember much. It wasn't it wasn't late, bro. I brought you a bunch of Jello shots. Uh, yeah, because that's what I fucking need right now. Actually, yeah, liquor would, you know, a dose of liquor would help you. Uh, I think it was that Evan Williams. 
The fucking random shot out of the hat. Yeah. I can't fuck that. Me. I wasn't doing that fireball. Listen, I, I don't give I a don't... fuck about your random hat tradition shit. It's my house for one. Yeah. <laughs> who's, who, who, who did that? Uh... I don't want to say Carrie and Shane. Uh, yeah, it might have been. I think. No, it's a cool idea. I like it and everything, but I'm not drinking a fireball. No. Like, I know. I don't want to drink the Evan Williams, but hey, um, it's, it is what it is. No, 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 no. Yeah, you put yours back. I'll, I'll, I'll drink any, like mostly anything else, but I'm not putting fireball in my body. No, thank you. Yeah, how many. How many Bud Lights was there left? Four. Four? Yeah. All right. I so. almost brought them this morning, but fuck it. That means I had eight beers. Sean said there were four Red Stags left out of ten. But I gave one to you and Ethan. That means I only have four. You gave me a beer? No, no, the Red Stag. Oh, Red Stag. Yeah, yeah, in the beginning. Sorry. I missed... I'm trying to figure oh. out how much I drank. I didn't feel like it was too much, but... Dude, just hearing you talk is making me sore. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I had good posture in here. I was feeling good. And now you're here. My... Oh, fuck. Yeah, you blame it on me. I'm blaming everything on you today. Man. Yeah, I think you, you can. Yeah. I can. Taylor, it's sorry. It's not his fault. It's my fault. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Yeah, yeah. But like, Cameron was supposed to get dropped off this morning. Like, ass cracked down. But something happened with that. Where we end up having to pick him up at Gigi's in Worthington. Mm. For, I don't know. Something happened last night with... Ray and his girl, where he left and brought Cameron up there. And, yeah, I, don't, I don't know the whole story. Pretty much fell asleep in the car. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty beat too, man. I uh, woke up at like 10.30. I do remember I was hugging the porcelain god last night. At really? One point. Yeah. I didn't get that far. Oh, I was that far. I didn't get that far. I was, uh, I was actually pretty good. I kept drinking a lot of water. I wanted to, but that's where I fucked up. I drank a lot of water, so I was able to I was able to keep drinking. Like for every, honestly, for like every every cup of that juice that I had, I probably drank like two bottles of water. I smashed water last night. I should have. Should have done that last week. That's what week. did me good. Fucking last week, I was hung over too. <laughs> I only pissed once too, man, which is weird. I woke up this morning and it was. Like fucking a two minute piss, <laughs> but it felt great and uh, it was well deserved. <laughs> it was very well deserved. Yeah, fuck it. He got me up a nice doobie. Fucking took a few hits. You want a hit? Sure. Yeah, fuck it. Fired it. Maybe it'll help the, the head nausea. Out. Yeah, maybe. Oh, by the way, I stole Taylor's fucking babe. So remind me to give it to you. Oh, yeah, she's freaking out about those, too. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say freaking out. She's actually in good spirits for the most part now. But. Well, it was fun last night. It was definitely fun. Yeah, we had a damn good time. We just got a little, little too fun. We uh definitely should have drank more water. I wish we could have got one one more game in with uh what what's your names? Um Oh, uh, Erica and Ethan. Yeah, Erica and Ethan. Yeah. Do that one game we played against the girls and they just fucking do that Harry Potter chick, she was hiding something. Hmm. She just kept boop, boop, boop. Like what are you in college? Like fresh out of college? She was hiding some skills. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they they uh they dogged us that week. That was wild. Yeah, and then the fucking they dogged like a few fucking teams. She actually turned out to be a pretty cool person, man. 
Like right. she, uh, she was like really. She didn't know anybody there, so she was, you know, just chilling, and staying. In a bit. But like, there was a few times where you know she'd let she'd like pull off some really funny shit. Mm. <laughs> you know, uh, we were uh, when we were doing the judging, she came in and she did this. She literally acted, did out like a whole skit mm. of, of Hermione, because, uh, and I even said I was like. Uh, I was like, "We gonna do?" Uh, I said, "Was Lingardium Liviosa?" And she, just like Hermione did, corrected. It's just no, it's Lingardium Liviosa. <laughs> and just like, it, dude, it killed me. I was like, "That that was fucking great." You know, I love movies, man. Yeah, I love movies, and she acted it out to a T. It was really cool. Uh, mm. That was awesome. Yeah, I, was, I totally forgot there was a. Honestly, judging of the costume. Honestly, uh, like it was really tough. It was actually really tough to figure that out because mm -hmm. everyone's costume, like the, it was all couples, and like there was her. I, I, I did you know that her her costume was actually real? She got it from uh, the Wizarding World of the like the the Wizard World, like the fucking actual. Uh, no, but that makes sense. That definitely looks way too good to be bought at a fucking bro. It was store. like a real cloak. She had a real wood wand. Yeah, I saw the wand. The wand was real. I she should have won. Yeah, that was on YouTube. <laughs> I know. She should have won. Damn it! I feel bad. Damn it. Mm -hmm. But you know, it was also about the show and like. Uh, she uh, or not her fucking uh, Shane and Shane and uh, Shane and Carrie. Mm -hmm. They were they, <laughs> they were like literally a half away from literally like fucking each other right in front of us. <laughs> like just the one like dude, he fucking threw her shit up. Fucking, oh. They were, yeah, they went in on it. They're pirates, you know. That's what came to their mind. <laughs> Instead of stealing shit, I thought they were going to come in and, like, start, like, putting stuff in their pockets and shit. Yeah, that would have been fucking robbed the place. Yeah, yeah. that would have been hilarious, too. But, no, they just started uh, getting it on pretty much. It was kind of cool. <laughs> Y'all came in because they were locked. Yeah, I don't even know what was going on. But I did at the time. But I didn't know we were supposed to act out anything. That was just random. I thought it was just going to be like a model runway. So it was like a walk in, walk out. I'm like, that's going to be boring. I'm like, I'll just twirl her around. Yeah, no, everybody <laughs> came in. They were doing some wild shit. Yeah. Am I bleeding again? Uh, no. Yeah. Don't look like it. I feel like I got something going on in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe pop a pimple or something. Maybe it's a little pussy. Have you hit this yet? Yeah, sure. No problem. This is the most I've actually smoked <laughs> on this podcast. And in a while. Actually, no, last night I smoked quite a bit. That was a pretty good one. Ah. Hmm. How much shit talking did you talk about me before I showed up? And then you lay them on, lay it on hard. Like this motherfucker is a piece of shit. He's gonna be late to his own funeral. Your girl kept throwing those fucking jello shots at me last night, though. So I can blame a little bit of her. See, she's blaming you for something, and you're blaming me for being late, and it's all full circle. We can all blame each other. <laughs> All right, you got to get in here. Oh, shit. Don't move me. Move that. Look at that. It looks like shit. Oh, we're not in costume. I forgot. Dude, I, I was in a rush to get here, and I forgot mine. I was so worried. I didn't talk shit about you. Like I'm just talking shit like... 
I was standing up for how um how I have a right to be upset. That's all. Yeah, it's all right. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah, I get it. You gotta get your coffee. But when's going to get canned? What took what took at almost two hours? When did uh we discuss it was eleven o'clock? Cause I completely. That's why I asked you this morning. I'm like, what time are you coming over? And you're like, oh, bro, you tell me. Like, oh, noon. I was so lost. Like I didn't. I completely forgot. <laughs> bro, you you literally. That was like one of the. That was like the, for one, that was the last thing we were talking about when you left. But also, we talked about that like early on in the night, too. Like, w- wait, you remember when I took the Snapchat video? I walked in the house and you were like, yeah. Yeah. And we started playing ping pong. Yeah. We talked about the podcast then. Hmm. You really don't remember that? No. <laughs> kind of, but not, talk- not, not time in. Yeah. So we talked about it then because. I mean, you know that's on the front of my mind, like all the time. Mm-hmm. So, and then when you left, I was like, "All right, man, very nearly, see you at 11. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Should have <laughs> sharpied it on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad idea. Yeah, honestly, at least I there would be no excuses for forgetting. I'd wake up, look at the mirror, and be like, "Oh shit." Dude, that that natural light out there, something else. I have not taken these shades off since I have left the house. I guess I should put mine back on. I'm kind of scared too. My eyes have gotten used to them, and it's been nice to just dim down the lighting. Especially those fucking things. I don't want to see those right now. It's probably pretty bright. Yeah. Yeah. Just gonna keep it going. Rome and Kai are gonna join us real soon. I don't know what we're gonna talk about. I'm tired. I was I had a lot of energy coming in just because like I was on this path of like I'm already late. So then when you said that I'm like, alright. I I you know, I can step back a second. Yeah, stop brushing it. Yeah. Um, but you know, I'm still trying to get here because you got to set up, man. It takes time. You can't just fucking walk in, turn the lights on, or just it's not that easy. You know? <coughs> yeah, I gotta usually clear the fucking memory card and stuff. Yeah, well, it gave me plenty of time. I uh, oh, yeah, I was able to. I was able. To, uh, <laughs> I was able to uh, back up our files, clean up some, clean up some shit on the computer. I almost thought about be like, "Yo, zoom me in. I'll start in the car." And <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> but then I fell asleep. You fell asleep in the car. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I fell Man, asleep. you have no right to be talking to me about fucking being tired, then, dude. Dude, I probably would have slept right past eleven. Come on. I probably would have. She had to wake me up. I gotta get this handled. There we go. Now I can slide all the way up in this bitch. (laughs) Shit! (laughs) Look at this. It's my fault. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween, you say? Yeah. It's a great day for being alive. Sun is still shining. What is it? Today, I, I think it turned is. out pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, my neck hurts. 
I need to get closer in here. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah. And now I'm comfortable. Yeah. This is this is my natural rhythm state right here. <laughs> it does this this neck thing feels really good on my neck right now. <clears throat> I feel like it's allowing the fluid to like <clears throat> drain. You ever feel like fluid blocked in your breath? You know you have cerebral fluid, right? That travels. Yeah. Actually, this is something cool I want to get into since we have been going on. Right, what? No, 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 Whilst record, man, I'm a fucking one man team. Yeah, I'm useless. <laughs>